It contains nearly 400 lab-grown rubies and diamonds, and this Montreal-made jewel is in the hands of Taylor Swift as we speak. The jewel we have sent to Taylor Swift is a masterpiece. Virginie Roy founded her company Proud Diamond three years ago. Their creations contain only lab-grown diamonds. Nothing you see here came out of a mine. We are uh, also making a statement about what luxury should stand for in the 21st century. Lab-grown diamonds are still certified by the International Gemological Institute, but they're cheaper and come with none of the ethical quandaries of mined, possibly bad blood diamonds. The diamond is extracted from a mine in very poor and uh, dangerous conditions. Roy even uses recycled gold. She wants all her creations to be eco-friendly. Everything is uh, done here in Montreal. Her key inspiration is her grandfather, a veteran of the Montreal jewelry business. The old timer is totally on board with lab grown. They're really good. There's no doubt in my mind. While Proud Diamond has been doing well, a Taylor Swift superfan, Roy came up with an idea to send the company to a level beyond her wildest dreams. So the Taylor Swift story is quite an adventure. Montreal-born Anthony Porosky of Queer Eye fame is close to a friend of hers. And one of his best friends is Taylor Swift. So what are the chances? She got to work designing a piece inspired by Swift's signature red lipstick. When an opportunity presented itself to get it into the superstar's hands in December, her team brought the Swifty to life in just 10 days. Uh, she gave it to uh, her stylist, and now we're waiting for the stylist to style it. So we are so close, <laughs> so close. Roy says she heard Swift loved the bejeweled lips worth $12,000. She'll have no problem shaking off the loss if Taylor wears the masterpiece out. If she she wears it publicly, I will need a lot more of jewelers. I have to say, I'm really, really proud of her. In the meantime, Juan made smaller versions of the Swifty to sell to her mere mortal customers. They're already sold out. Dan Spector, Global News, Montreal.